Max has gone for Aztecs. And Tato has gone for Saracens. Okay, okay, okay. So, I already have a plan for a YouTube upload where Tato plays Saracens. He loves his Saracens. He loves his Saracen archers. Now, they were nerfed, which I'll talk about in a second. He loves his Saracen market. And he's 3-1 up in a best of 7 for 100 bucks, so he's confident. And he's going to try his best to utilize the Saracen bonuses on this map. Um, honestly, I love new Saracens. Does anyone else just get filled with joy when they see Saracens in a game now? It's so crazy how a couple months can make a difference there. Because I, I was never really that excited when I got Saracens before. But now that they have this bonus, it makes it interesting. Now keep in mind, a couple weeks ago, they always had the team bonus. Foot archers plus one attack versus buildings. But a couple weeks ago, it was plus three here in all ages. So that was a total of plus four attack for Saracen archers versus buildings in feudal age, which was way OP. Now you get plus one attack per age against buildings. So it's plus two in feudal for Tato. Uh, it's plus three in castle and plus four in imp, which I think is more balanced. I don't think that Tato could go for only archers and just melt buildings like he could before. But the market bonus is still there. Uh, 75 wood for a market is very cheap. You can still buy and sell resources with great, great, um, I guess a great trade. And that's probably why Tato has been having a lot of fun with Saracens. It bothers me. Because as a caster, I've been saying that Saracens are an underrated Civ for years because their markets used to be 100 wood. And now it's 75 wood and everyone's losing their minds. Like that 25 wood makes a huge, huge difference. And don't get me wrong, it helps. But I feel like Tata was one of the only pros before to use Saracens really well. And now all of a sudden everyone's like, oh, Saracens, you know. So anyways, we'll see what Tata does here. Uh, Max has gone for the classic Aztecs, so Man-at-Arms equals Archer's always an option. Valley is a map where there's Hunt in the center, and, and I guess Neely decided to ban Mongols because Mongols are going to be the pick if if you don't ban them. Um, now, there's always a lot of debate there. I mean, do you want to ban the best civs from maps? Probably not. But do you also want a mirror matchup every time? Probably not, so this makes it interesting. I'm surprised. I think if it was not Tato, most other pros would choose Aztecs as well, though. You know, so it's, the second pick is probably going to be the same a lot of the times as well. That was a long, long conversation on Saracens and Civs. I'm proud of myself there. Normally, I start talking about... Uh, I start talking to chat. <laughs> we'll see. I really hope Tato makes use of the market. And I guess it's worth saying that if you're watching on YouTube and you didn't see the whole best of seven, no worries. The whole best of seven's in the video description in the form of an unlisted video. Uh, anyways, back to chat. Isgaroth, thank you for the eight months with Twitch Prime. He said, thank you for your work. You are welcome, man. Thank you for the support. Atomic Sausage gifted two more subs. Thank you. And a carry-on, thank you for the three months. By the way, can we please salute Atomic Sausage? Last week, I uh, last week I stupidly mentioned on my stream that I was considering buying the T90 official dot farm domain, and the second after I said that, somebody bought that domain, and I thought they were going to try and hold it for ransom and make me pay for it. Well, it turns out it was Atomic Sausage who purchased T90 official dot farm, and now that website, I think with him and many others working on it, counts all of the T90 farms that are ever posted in my chat. So if you go to t90official.farm right now, you will see how many times we've seen T90 farm in my Twitch chat since that website has been created. So thank you for not holding <laughs> uh, holding me for ransom and uh, or holding the website for ransom and for making that. That was really funny. All right, Tato has five on gold. He's definitely going to be doing the market. He's definitely going to be going for the market. And he's also gone up to the next stage really early. This is 20 population. 
Do you guys want to see it real quick? T90 official dot farm. Here, look, look. Try it. Try it. Chat, try it. <laughs> see? Keeps going. <laughs> yeah, that's that's in like 10 days. <laughs> that number is going to be really high. If only we would have added that earlier. Okay, so there's the early market from Tato, the 75 wood market. Ooh, that villager is getting attacked by a Komodo dragon. I, don't don't ask me how she survives that, but she. This is. Hold on a second. I'm gonna start freaking out, guys. This is exactly what Tato did to Vivi in my YouTube upload. If you have not seen the YouTube upload yet. But I'm disappointed in you, and so is your family, because that was such a good display of how Saracens can be played in Age of Empires 2. Check this out. So, what does what has Max scouted? Max scouted the gold, and he scouted the barracks. He assumes it will be archers because of the archer bonus, but Tato, again, he did this versus Vivi. He builds a sneaky, double stable base. Watch this. This is such a this is such a masterpiece from Tato. This is so good. I bet you any money. Look, what is Max making? Skirms. He's expecting archers. Everything that he has scouted has said archers. Oh boy. This is actually not great for Tato to be losing one and two builds. But yeah, everything Max has scouted tells him that this will be archers from Tato and the archer bonus, and Tato is gonna surprise the guy big time. And normally, Tato also gets some upgrades, too, so he'll get armor or bloodlines. But, I mean, if Max realizes it, though, he's already killed Bills, so... You know, I would consider him ahead, and he could just make Spearman and, and maybe hold against it. So what Tato did was, he's just buying food now. Buying food for upgrades, buying food for scouts, and it's all about numbers, and it's all about a surprise. Max has done a great job annoying Tato with the additional man at arms left in the base. Um, Tato will now add a blacksmith too, so. I wonder if Max is confused now. He has to be, right? He has to be confused because he hasn't seen the archers yet. He's sending his skirms and archer over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, Max could pick off that veil. That's a mistake from Tato. It's wall with that guy. I think it would be a better for Tato to just let this villager die. Uh, let the army in and deal with it with vills than to instead send the scouts this way. Because if you send the scouts this way, Max has time to, to react to it. So yeah, the vill dies. That was sloppy from Tato. But, scouts... Bloodlines is on the way, and um, did he get any other upgrades? No, he did not. Max is not fully walled. Max is fully expecting archers to show up from Tato at any point, or at some point. Now maybe Tato could send... This is good micro from Max, but maybe now Tato sends a scout or two back here. Surprise! I have a stable. <laughs> 65 HP scouts. And the thing is, you never expect early bloodlines either. So you say, okay, it's scouts, I'll create a spear or two, but you never expect bloodlines to be in. 65 HP, and look at that. Tata, what a masterpiece. He slaughters Max. And that evens out the vil count a little bit because Tata was also having some problems over here. Um, he will maybe save that villager, I'm not sure. But, but after all of this, who has the better form of military? Tato does. Tato has the better form of military. Those scouts are no joke. Uh, the weak villager will die. Nice job from Max to notice she was weak. Uh, these archers, they do have attack and armor. But another villager dies due to the scouts. Now, the problem with this strategy is you can only rely on that market for so long. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Max is adding some spears, but even low numbers of spears are not going to be enough to deal with this. Tato just has to hold control, because the second he loses control, 
Max could make a really nice push, and that's beautiful micro from Tato. I don't know if you spotted it, but running the weak scout back and forth. Now Tato hides the archer range. Man, Tato is so fun to watch with Saracen. So, what is assumed at this point from Max? Max assumes Tato's going only scout. So what will he start making? Naturally, Spearman. And Tato says, okay, well, this is a great time for me to make some archers. The KD, sure, it's right here. It's 18 kills for Tato and it's five for, um, for Max. <laughs> Sneaky Dorito. This is, <laughs> this, <laughs> uh, what flavor of Doritos would this strategy be? <laughs> uh, would it be Cool Ranch because it's a cool strategy? Oh boy. Max will wall his vill in and wall the scouts into his own base. That's really well played. Now Tato, I think, should just go up to the next stage, right? Hide the archers. He can't get in. Uh, maybe. Yeah, Dutch class is a Tato sub, so he has the Tato emo. It's a Tatito Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I like how Max has reacted to this, though. I mean, he took losses, and he just took another loss while Tato sniped the weak vill. Doink! But, uh... But heavy spears and heavy archers is a way to play yourself out of this. Tato's micro is so good, though, still being a presence here. Still keeping Max at home. And... Oh, Tato's... He's actually been selling his stone, hasn't he? He went heavy on stone so he could sell the stone. So unique. However, he will lose villagers. He might need to send the archers this way to deal with this. Or maybe attack with some vills and then tower. I'm not sure. Still attacking villagers. Still sniping villagers with these scouts. And he must have looked away now. Oh, nope, he realized. Okay, Tata will abandon the stone. So he abandons the stone so he can hide the decision to go archers from Max. And Max's spear could have spotted it, but Tato made damn sure that he microed that spearman down with his fills. This is so epic. He hid the ranges. Max will have no clue. And Tato's on the way to Castle Age, and Max is nowhere close. So yes, Saracens, they, they don't attack buildings quite as much as they did when the game first came out but i'll tell you what they'll be stronger against buildings in a bit once tato's in castle age and tato will have crossbow with bodkin um i do like how max is going to place a tower here he, he might feel like tato is going to be using that market heavily he probably saw tato on stone well he did and so that would tell him wait he's not building towers he, he's probably selling stone and buying food um, the Tato's unfortunate not to see the Vills there, but I think he could just take, take down the Palisade wall in a heartbeat and work his way into Max's base where Max would have nothing. And he'll comfortably play defensive in tower there. Okay, so let's see how quickly the archers take down the walls in Castle Age. Nam. Tato did not want to show Max that he was there. It's probably unintentional. And now he's attacking the Palisade. That is quick. Keep in mind, that is no with no Bodkin arrow, and that is with no crossbow. And those upgrades will be coming in. Max is desperate for a tower on Tato's gold. That's a nice tower spot, but is it perfect? No, maybe, maybe here... Still not convinced that Max is building defensive towers, so he did have a bit of a heads up. He's lost two, he'll lose three. And now Tatsu just moves along where Max has prepped another tower. I like how the spear was in there in the middle of the split. Ooh, Max has some archers on this side, but I think this will be dealt with too, right? Tatsu will just relocate to that gold for the time being. Uh, and probably needs a tower here. Because Max is still applying pressure. Hmm. Keep in mind that Tato could make knights. He doesn't really have a sustainable food economy right now. 
The, the problem with this strategy is you have to kill fast. If you don't kill fast, you don't have normal economy. And then you might run out of gold, too, because you're buying everything. A late game, Tata would be way worse off than, than Max, right? Because it gets more and more difficult for Tata to do this. I'm really confused why Tato didn't tower here earlier. Uh, he can't. He has to abandon this. Uh, he's actually sitting underneath this tower. So he'll slowly shoot that down. Again, just fixing the speeds. And Max is not giving up without a fight. Max has one less villager and Max is pressuring. But, you know, he's still only in the feudal age. But not for, not for long. Max is on his way to castle age now. Has Max done enough, guys? Has Max done enough? Mooncat says he didn't have the stone. No, dude, he didn't have the stone because he towered here first against two archers. He towered against two archers. He could have towered here when I mentioned it earlier. But nay. And then you build the tower here later on, or you just send a crossbow or two to deal with the archers. Max's pressure made Tato panic a little bit, that's for sure. And Max will have the resources to go for Elite Skirm in the next stage, which would make life very awkward for Tato. Now, it could mean Tato could make Siege or Knights, but... The fact that Tato can't take his gold and his stone here right now, and that he's had the idle time, is, is not great for him. Hmm. Atomic Sausage gifted another two subs, by the way. I've been so focused on this game. I think we know that Saracen Market Abuse is strong, right? Uh, but Max has played really well. So hats off to him for that. And now he will have to leave some resources because Tato has this crossbows looping around. But Palisade Walls, Max? Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's not going to work for you. Boink. Yeah, these crossbows will waltz right in if they want to. Now, where will Max take gold? He can't take this gold. He can't take this gold. This one's on the hill. It's really awkward for him. So he is actually completely off of gold. And the funny thing is, if he wants to sell... <laughs> I don't know how good... The prices will be, but I feel like it'll be decent because Tato's been buying. I didn't think about that. So if he wants to sell food right now, he gets 116 gold for 100 food. So this is this is the bad thing about doing what Tato's doing. If you take your opponent off of gold, the prices are really good for him. Okay. 57 population for the max, slightly behind Tato and Eco. Definitely behind Tato in control. And also, half of Max's military is useless. The eagle and the, the spears will not do much against the crossbows. So, mainly about Elite Skirm. But I think now Tato... Will he make knights against the Elite Skirm? Or will he make... Will he make siege or what? Oh boy. Tato knows the gold is there. This is such high level play. To know where your opponent will be going next... He's looping the whole way around. Max expecting this as a possibility. Has placed an outpost, but he'll still lose Vils. And as we speak, Max is also trying to close in on this army. So that's great, Max. But you've just lost your gold miners over here. And Tato is back. And this area of your eco is exposed. Wow. The micro from Tato. The longer Tato... Oh, he has ballistics. Oh, man. The humanity... Tato! What a play, man. I, I love how he, he knew that Max would be chasing him here as well. And he didn't fight when he probably could have considered it. He waited. Waited for ballistics and all the while sent in the crossbows to the other side. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. And now he has a vil lead. Sig that's significant. And Max has massive amounts of vital time. These are the knights I was kind of expecting. And the Maganel I was also thinking Tato might make. And Tato has started to invest a little bit more into his own economy, so he has more than two farms. He's at seven. And... Oh! Okay, Max spotted it, but... What's he having here? Two crossbows? Nah, not gonna be enough. I don't see how Max wins this game now. This is the game of the series for me. All the other games were solid. 
But how Tato, oh, another big shot. How Tato chose to play Saracens in this game was amazing. I love it. And listen, it's not just using the market. It's not just the market. It's how beautifully placed the, the stables are. Because he knows how good pro players are with scouting. And so he hid the stables. That's exactly what he did versus Vivi in the YouTube upload from a week or two ago. Um, everyone's expecting Saracens to go archers. They see Tato's on gold. They figured, oh, he's going for Tati Rush. Oh, he's going for archers. And Tato goes scouts. Yes, Tato lost a vill or two, but he killed five or six in return. And then what did Max expect when Tato was in Castle Age? He expected knights. Tato hid archers. Beautiful. Age of Empires is such a complex game. My favorite thing about Age of Empires 2 is when players hide strategy and they stress scouting. Uh, and you can't really say that Max did a lot wrong not scouting what he needed to in this game. The, pretty much the only thing you can do is guess when you don't see the archery range. Just sick, sick stuff. 56 kills for Tato, 24 units lost. <laughs> Look at that, man. Tato continues to abuse the market with Saracens. He had 1,300 stone collected and 6,900 gold collected. He had half the food of Max and he had two-thirds of the wood of Max. Like, this is a normal eco balance for Max. This is a normal game. Tato just continued to collect gold and stone, sell and buy as he needed, and he won the game that way. That's crazy. And look at the difference, too. He was faster to feudal, and he was way faster to castle age, all with the Saracen market. Incredible stuff from Tato. Uh, that's also the conclusion of the series. So it's probably a bit awkward now for people on YouTube who want to watch the whole best of seven. But I'm going to give you that option in the video description when you see this uh, in the form of an unlisted video. Wild, man. This is where I'm silent for a couple minutes, so I can put my end screen here later on. So, shh. Okay. 